Well, as you can see today, it's a beautiful day, and I'm out here to talk about tripods. I'm going to try and make it short and sweet, but we all buy tripods for different reasons, for different types, whether it's filming or photography, up in the hills, down at the coast, in a hide, you name it, but we can never get the right tripod. So today I'm going to look at the Peak Design tripod to see whether it can fill any gaps. But I own 12 tripods and I can never find the right one. I'm not saying the Peak Design is right, but it's pretty good. But what I use for filming is this. I use this Manfrotto and this 502 head. And I use this newer um, long lens support, which is pretty good. And the camera literally slides straight on like this. Tighten it all up and it's done, it's ready to go. So that gives me a nice video head with the nice support with the newer. This supports the, the head on the tripod and it makes it nice secure so that's great nice spirit head 502 the actual tripod is carbon from one photo but it weighs a ton what carrying this around for hills and mountaineers is a killer and i'm not getting no younger so again i intend to leave this at home so the other tripod i use is this aluminium lightweight monfrotto tripod with the monfrotto head I normally use this when I use landscapes and again it's just a simple plate on and off slide in slide out and again I'm waiting to see whether the peak design can fulfill that which I do know because a lot of people have done the peak design and it's all about landscapes to be honest and how sturdy it is and everything but I want to see whether it's any good for the landscape so that's one tripod out of the way as well these are my main tripods that I use um, the other one I use this one which is another Monfrotto I use this one when I'm doing video work uh, as in camcorder work here so again another nice fluid spirit head and again not too bad in weight but not sturdy enough for a long lens like a 100 or 400 or 200 or 600 I don't find it sturdy the plates are too tiny too small so put that to one side um, then this is my Gitzo Travel tripod, I've used this for ages and it's never let me down to be honest but the only problem is is the twist legs it can be a bit of a pain you know you've got your nice swivel and everything else and you can put your camera straight on and it's straight there and you can swivel and you can photograph and film and do what you like but again it's heavy and the amount of times I've actually carried this and this thing has whacked me in the head here and you know going up in snows and hills and mountains and boggy land the amount of times i have dropped this because this has got caught up with something in a bush or anything so again can the peak design cover this gap which i'm really hoping it does but it's gonna have to do a lot because this is my favorite setup of all so we'll see so i take this one out um, and again it doesn't matter on that one where it's 100 or 400 it's actually a quite a nice setup yeah right with any lens any setup whatsoever so that's pretty good so we leave that one there so we put that one over there and this is it this is the peak design that is it that is it yeah that's it if, even if it's found through here that is it that is all it is even if i was to this is my smallest out of my wildlife tripods and contraptions and even if I was to hand this there now you'd, you'd laugh at that you think no that's no good that, that's not going to work here but we'll see um, what I've done with this is I've took out the um, the metal the inner section here this is the aluminium version yeah there was only six to eight ounces difference so by the time I took this part out and the actual bit you get for um, camera phones and phones it saved me a few a few more ounces but this is it but i've actually measured the width of these legs all the way around and it's no different to what my gitzo is so but the size is so tiny yeah so but like i said i've took the middle section out and i've took the two pins out one here and one here which i'll show uh, show you earlier on i've took the pins out of here so i could slide my aqua swiss plate in here so again it's i'm not going to go through all the rigmaroles everyone else does how fast you can do it i'm looking at this to go up the hills in the side of my rucksack so even if i just undo one leg for now it's 
pretty simple and it is very well i'm gonna to have to do two but i can tell you this now i've tried it i've used it it's pretty solid i'm actually very impressed with it to be honest so that's the the tripod there can this be this in my opinion this is my opinion not everyone else's is it any good like i said um i've taken out the middle section here i've taken out the two pins here this is your locking plate here which is actually metal it's not plastic you do have a spirit bubble here waste of time peak design get rid of it don't need it no one can see you need a magnifying glass to see it and most of your lenses that just cover it over all the back of your camera you've got your locking device here which i'll show you again soon a close-up you've got a locking device here and it unlocks and locks which is pretty good you've got your extension bit here that you pull out and then you can just lift this now what i'm going to do is just rise this just slightly by taking the middle section out you still have six inches of leeway with the ball head now i just locked that in and i've actually got that to where i wouldn't have it no more than that so if i was to undo it with this this is the tension screw here i can move this around yeah that's no different from me using my gimbal i can move that around and then I could lock it up so I'm going to put on the 200 600 snap it in lock it on nice and tight that is solid that is really solid I'm going to just use the take off a bit of tension yeah it's it's just like using the gimbal I can move it around it's nice so I've extended the middle section the little part I've took off, I've got plenty of movement in between. I can slightly undo the actual ball head and put my hand here, which I find safe, and I can move this around, just like a gimbal head. And it's up to you what tension you want. You can tighten up a little bit, and it's near. It's actually quite, quite solid. Yeah, it's pretty good. You can move that around, yeah, and it's nice. So for wildlife, getting down shooting, it's pretty good. Um, I quite like it. So I've now got it locked in place. That's not going nowhere. I can then lock it even tighter and that is solid that's not going anywhere now i've actually put a lot of pressure on this tripod when it's fully out and i'm actually very impressed how stable it is the advantage of this is if you've, you've got a picture of the scene you're up in the hills you're doing mountain hairs you've got this on the side of your back backpack or on your um, rucksack it's no bigger than that yeah it goes in your bottle device or uh, your bottle pocket you can stick in there you can whip it out quickly now even when it's really low down to the ground it's no bigger than this this is how big it is on the ground yeah so your actual lens once it's come out it's that much off the ground yeah and once you've spread the legs out there's nothing in the way to stop you yeah so it's actually pretty good you know you, even with a, a hundred to 400 on it's it's even lighter um, but for filming this was what I wanted for now I have tried out some video with this and to be honest if you put your hand here in underneath the lens where the um, tripod mount shoe is you can actually touch the actual um, the grip part here which is the um, which loosens the ball joint now you can actually control it with your hand while you're holding it so you could lock it off with just your thumb turn it lock it turn it lock it can you pan with it yes why not you can pan with it you can pan pretty nice pretty slow and then stop yeah but you know you're not always going to pan but for videos yeah i'm quite impressed with this and once it's locked in it's solid and if you want to really lock it in you can just pull out the button here twist it and then turn it drop it that's in that's going nowhere then you can just use this how you want to use it it's pretty good i quite enjoy it yeah so uh, for a small tripod it's it's pretty solid i mean you could lock it in lock it all up that is solid that's that's going nowhere and if you want to bring it in that's dinky that is really dinky and that is so supportive but even with all the legs down that's how quick you can actually get them down it's actually quite high to be honest um as you can see from there that's one leg 
let's lock it all in. So that's how high you're looking at. And to be honest, I'm five foot eight, and I've measured this at five foot six, and that's not too bad. Um, I also use this when I do my macro photography. I use the Peak Design clip here, and I use the Memphoto um, slider. And what I do is I just use that straight in there, lock, and it's on. That's solid, yeah. So that's a solid plate. That's not going nowhere. That's pretty good. So just a quick going over here. This is your ball head locking pit. This is your actual tripod locking bit, in and out. That's metal. This is the how I have it. I don't have no middle column. This bit here locks in and out. And if I wanted to make it more solid, just twist, down, lock. That's going nowhere. You could put a, up to 20 pounds of weight on this. Now that would take anything. Now that will do my Gitzo, would do my camcorder, would do my landscape tripod. Not as good uh, for my um, video tripod because I need it to be really smooth. And unfortunately it's not that smooth. It's not a fluid head as such. It's a ball head on the uh, Peak Design. I think I'm more inclined to go with this. Like I said, it's just me. It's personally my fault on this. It's nice, it's light, it's... I'm not gonna go through the unboxing, the unpacking and all that stuff as everyone else does. I find them pretty boring. Um, just... That is it. That's your peak design. So that's all you need. Side in my rucksack, camera on the side, on the way I go. I don't need all that heavy stuff anymore. Quite enjoying this and it's a solid piece of kit. You could do some damage with it somewhere with that.